My name is Monica D'Angelo. I am the Director of Facilities and Renewable Energy Program Integration with the Department of Navy. I work for the Assistant Secretary of Energy Installations and Environment. Um, and so I, I'd like to add a little bit of perspective here. And first, let me thank you know the industry panelists who have given the military shout out for advancing our uh, prioritization of use of renewables and to D for um, giving us some kudos for a project that I that is personally very near and dear to my heart. Um, but as a matter of perspective about why renewables are important and a priority for the Department of Navy, um, I was given the privilege yesterday of touring uh, sub-base uh, Kings Bay in Georgia um, with a 23-year <coughs> submariner veteran. And he gave us a perspective of these very large energy intensive facilities that are required to essentially reduce the um, magnetic field around our ships and submarines. Um, and when these uh, you know, technologies are needed and employed, uh, the, our energy intensity and our energy demand goes through the roof and so does our cost. But they are necessary to keep us safe so that these uh, facilities and you know our sailors and Marines are protected when they are doing what they are here for us to do so we can be here today they are in the waters protecting us so we need to help them we need to give them more resources so as a matter of energy security both operational and shore it is our priority to use the competitive marketplaces to save the Department of Defense money and in you know uh, an era of declining appropriations, we believe wholeheartedly that using competitive marketplaces to save the department money is, is a very good strategy. And the deal that Dee referenced, um, I believe, in my very biased opinion, that the Navy was at the forefront of paving the way for the use of 2922A, which is our long-term authority. Um, and I appreciate the very uh, polite comments about the frustrations of the use of that authority. Um, it, trust me, we feel the same. But, you know, this deal started, uh, you know, December 2012, there were eight of us sitting around the table in Phoenix, Arizona. We thought, hey, how, how can we use the marketplace to increase the market penetration of renewables and make the tax credits work the way they should? So that by 2016, the end of 2016, there is grid parity with renewables and the cost of conventional fuel. And so our biggest barrier was getting the use of that authority, the long-term ability for the department to put our full faith credit and balance sheet behind these transactions. Um, and so then began the 18-month process that you know my boss helped spearhead where we educated OSD on why these competitive marketplaces made sense and why you know buying electrons from the grid um, was truly beneficial as opposed to being directly connected and so this deal the 210 megawatt deal that Western Area Power Administration um, uh, you know acquired on, on our behalf um, was the first deal for Department of Defense where we utilized this authority and um, took advantage of the California marketplace. And at the end of the day, we negotiated, we, we sat at that negotiating table uh, day in and day out for a few months, um, got a rate that is cost competitive with what we are paying today, 0% escalation over 25 years. So this deal is, it's a no brainer It will save the Department of Navy hundreds of millions of dollars over its contract term. And so these are things that, you know, we feel we could, there's certainly areas to improve upon. And, you know, this was one of many grid-based green power deals that the Department of Navy is pursuing. Um, we have many on-site power purchase agreements that we will continue to pr selectively pursue. And we have still a lot to learn about those deals as well. But, you know, I, I think today, hearing from industry, partnering with industry, partnering with our servicing utilities, and learning from our colleagues in government, you know, I think we could all get to the right solutions.